welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I created Dolled Up by Jay. So obviously you can see the background right now is super winter-esque and fabulous. We've got the fire going, this beautiful house, very fortunate. And I figured this would be the perfect winter beauty background to film some videos. And today I have a lovely Sephora haul. These are actually items I picked up back during the uh, holiday savings event and I just hadn't gotten around to filming it yet. But now it's uh, Black Friday and holiday shopping and all of that coming up. I wanted to share what I got, of course, because who doesn't want to see what other people buy? So without further ado, let's get to the video. Today's beverage is Grapefruit Perrier. Cheers. So first item is I discovered the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick Line. I was a bit late to it. I got one this summer. Ended up really enjoying it. Didn't really talk about it much though. I do find their matte liquid lips. Um, they are my original favorite, but these last basically just as long. They are just a little bit more of like a somewhat shiny formula, whereas the matte kind of can look a little bit Sahara Desert, if your lips are dry, if you have dry skin on your lips too, it's just like not a good situation. I find this Demi Matte formula is a little bit more forgiving. It also gives a little bit more of like a plumping effect to the lips, whereas a super matte is just gonna be like super matte and dry, you know what I mean? So I have another shade, I think I got, um, I have it here. I have another shade called uh, Shiro. And so I picked up this guy called Feminist. Um, so they are actually pretty similar. You might be able to see I'm a sucker for the nudes, obviously. So I picked that up, I thought it was super cute and really enjoying that formula. So I just wanted more shades. I have, I think four or five of the matte Huda lipsticks, if that gives you an indication of how much I love them. They glide on so easily. They're just like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. The applicator is perfect. The price is honestly pretty good. And the shade range is like, the ideal warm nude vibe that I'm going for in life. So, okay, next is super basic bitch unite purchase. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte uh, Liquid Lipstick in the limited edition shade of Pumpkin Spice. Every year they tend to do a couple of limited edition shades. This one is super cute. I'll show you the box. Uh, I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now to give you a little idea. How pretty is that? It's kind of like, it's kind of like a terracotta nude, but like not too deep. Last year they did um, Gingerbread Girl and Gingerbread Boy. I'm pretty sure I picked up two of the Gingerbread Girls because I loved them so, so, so much and I still have them. I don't care how old they are. They're not getting thrown out. Shoot me, whatever. Um, so this is the Pumpkin Spice. I'll show you the box. Or I'll show you the little bullet. So that's the packaging there. And so as you can see, it definitely does look a little bit deeper once it's on the lips. I find that with the Too Faced formulas in the tube, the Melted Mattes do look a little bit lighter and then they oxidize and get a little deeper. Huda and Too Faced, I think I could probably like never try another liquid lipstick formula again and be happy. The shade Sellout is one of my all time absolute like ride or die favorites. It's a little bit more of like a deep pink than this. So stunning. I'll try and like insert a little photo up here as well. Okay, and so now Sephora has Morphe Cosmetics, which is surprising because Morphe is honestly such a cheap like e-commerce company, but I'm noticing Sephora is starting to bring on more affordable e-commerce brands, obviously because like they have a huge access to the market globally and not everyone may necessarily know about brands like Morphe. So I picked up their new lip trio. I didn't even know that these existed, which is cool. Again, if, unless I had been browsing Morphe's Insta or their website, I wouldn't have known. This was honestly so affordable. This was $21 Canadian. So if you're in the States, it's going to be like 15 or 16. And this comes with a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a color pencil. Um, and I think the packaging is really cute too. It kind of reminds me of like, like, doesn't that kind of remind you of like Kylie Jenner lip kit vibes? Like anyone, anyone? That's the first impression I got is they're kind of like doing a little spin off. But I don't know, in my opinion, Kylie Cosmetics is like I still think it's all made in the same lab as ColourPop and the formula is like slightly changed and that's why I've just never honestly tried it. I just haven't. Uh, so I'll show you what's in the bundle here. So this is the lipstick. This is the shade Wifey. That is so pretty. Oh, I honestly have never tried any of Morphe's lip products. I've tried I think I have their original 350 eyeshadow palette and I really love it, but I kind of forgot I own it. But they're also just so big. Like their eyeshadow palettes are literally like bigger than this house, honestly. So it's like a commitment to invest in one of those. Even though they're cheap, it's just like a space investment. 
So this is a lip gloss. It's called Pop. And then it also comes with a liner. So you could literally wear all three together. You could do just the liner, just the gloss, whatever. And honestly, $21 for three full-size products from Sephora is like unheard of. Like this would normally be like a hundred, honestly. So I'm gonna try these and see how I like them. Never tried Morphe lip products, as I told you. So we'll see how the quality measures up. Obviously, if Sephora decided to carry them, then they have to be somewhat decent. Okay. So next is another lip product. I always love during the Sephora sale to get stock up on all my lip products that I love. Um, one of my all-time favorite lipsticks, cream lipsticks in the world now is Hourglass. Um, their Confession Slim Liquid. They're, ugh. The Hourglass Confession um, Slim Refillable Lipsticks. These are a mouthful. Basically, this is a new like limited edition holiday shaped bullet. The original bullets are just like cylindrical like this with the dagger part on the bottom. This is kind of a little more geometric vibes. So this is a really cool product. So this comes with, I think it was like 60 something dollars and it comes with the original bullet and then there's a shade in here and then there's another refillable shade you can add. Excuse my nail um tough times so there's another shade you can add so basically these are this is like so fabulous like i'm sorry this is a lipstick hello like you're, you're ready to either stab somebody or do your lips or both who cares so this comes with a shade at dawn and i just think that is so 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 pretty i was honestly trying to decide between this I think there's like the rosy Huntington White Lee shade. I forget what it's called, but she made a custom shade too. And I was gonna pick that up. And then I saw this duo and I was like, okay, I'm gonna give that instead. Cause it was just a better value. Usually these are like for the bullet with the lipstick as well, the refill, it's like $48. And then if you buy the lipstick refill on itself, basically what, how it works is you just like take it out and then put new ones in. So they design it to be like, you keep refilling the applicator. Um, and so it comes with a second shade here, if I can get it out. Sometimes having long nails is like, actually makes your life a lot harder. Okay, so this tube is at dusk. This one is definitely like a super, it looks really red on camera, but it's more of like a sultry, like think Mac Russian red vibes. That's the shade this reminds me of. This is so stunning. I cannot wait to use it. I just think the idea of this type of red with this packaging is just like, mm, and you're applying it. I just think it's so freaking gorgeous and just like timeless and stunning. I will say though, the original packaging for this lipstick is a lot heavier. This one, I don't know what the deal is, but the bottom feels metallic, but the top feels kind of like a cheap plastic. Whereas the original is like heavy. It's like a paperweight. So I feel like it's a little bit chintzy what they did this time, but I mean, it's still super cute, but just like FYI, it's not gonna be the same like quality feel as the original one. Next, um, every year Anastasia does a brow whiz kit usually. So this year they have the Perfect Your Brows kit with the famous uh, Anastasia Dip Brow Mascara. That is one of my all time favorite products now. It got released this year and it's changed my life. It's like a brow mascara. They made into, instead of their dip brow that was like so, so, so hard to use and it's like, Gave you those crazy Instagram brows. No offense if that's your vibe. I'm just like, get away from me. It's not what I'm into. Um, they got the brow mascara coming with the original Brow Wiz pencil. And I think this kit was like $40 or something. And these are usually like 27 and this is like 24. Uh, obviously this one is gonna be a little bit of a smaller size, but irregardless, these brow gels last me forever. So the kit itself is like definitely a good buy and I'm super excited about it because these are such good solid brow products and highly 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 recommend if you get your hands on this season do it next I picked up this is something I always recommend to people I have a lot of girls that are always like what do you use for self tan I love to self tan I'm not really self tanning right now to be honest I'm self tanning like my face and chest but I'm wearing so many sweaters I'm like I just don't want to like put the self tan everywhere and have to like deal with it, wash it off. I'm kind of just like embracing like a little bit of pale energy right now. <laughs> um, so I picked up my Isle of Paradise self tanning drops in medium. Normally I always get the dark, but I had a few mishaps where 
usually I usually do about two to three drops mixed in with my moisturizer on the face and rub down onto the neck and maybe like two on the chest if I just want to kind of even everything out from wearing like a lower shirt or whatever. I don't know what happened, but I've been getting a lot of dry skin around here for winter time. I usually get dry skin in the winter. I don't know what's going on this year. It's happening down here. I've had it last 10 years happening here. Something's changing, whatever. The dark formula of these drops before were just like, I don't know what happened. It was clinging to everything to the point where it looked like I had like dirt on my face almost. And I was like, this is bad. Like even over help of makeup, I was like, this is too much. And like maybe I over applied by one drop or something. But obviously since my summer glow is sadly almost gone, I wanted to just kind of tone it down a little bit, but still get a little bit of a glow at the same time. So I switched to the medium. I have used these a couple times and already I do really like them. I think they are a better choice for winter. Personally, I don't think I would ever buy the light because I'm just not like so, so, so pale where I'd ever want light tanning drops. I just don't see the point of, I just don't see the point of it like at all. But the medium, I do think the medium is a good buy. And these last a really long time. They are, I think, like $38, but they last a long time. They're obviously not gonna last you as long if you apply all of your body. And the way you use them is you mix them with a few drops of moisturizer and apply all of your body or your face. But only if you do the face, it's gonna last longer. And I like to use a tanning mousse over my body instead, just because it's quicker and it's a little more foolproof because they have like the guide colors and all that. But overall, I like this brand. It is cruelty-free, organic, vegan, and just cool vibe, cool packaging, great product. Love it. Okay, next I have this Too Faced. I actually got this like a while ago and I just never hauled it or really talked about it. So I'm adding it to this haul now because it is still a new product this year. So this is the Too Faced Plump and Prime Luxury Face Primer Serum. Honestly, I'm one of those people that's like primers are usually a waste of money or just stupid unless they're like a sticky primer or like a gripping primer or a smoothing primer. I find a lot of like moisturizer primers, you're basically just paying for like an expensive kind of moisturizer that's not a moisturizer, you know what I mean? But honestly, I really like this. I like how it's a primer that's a plumping serum. I've used this before as just a skincare product. It says on the box you can use it as a serum anytime or you can put it on before makeup. A lot of skincare is honestly like that. If you do a good serum before, that doubles as a primer. All they've done is marketed it as that's what you can do. But most makeup and skincare is kind of interchangeable that way. You can use it as you want. It's not like you have to do this and this is the rules and this is how it works. No, 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 no. But I do really enjoy this. I like the packaging. It's in a pump like this. Um, I think that the gold and everything is really cute too. Too Faced always has their packaging on point, always super, super cute, also a little bit of luxury. And so I do really enjoy this. I do feel plump. I don't notice like no wrinkles or anything. I don't really have wrinkles right now, like thank God. But um, I do overall enjoy this a lot. And honestly, the price point, I don't think it's that bad. I think it was like 40 or $50. And for something that I think is, um, it's a full ounce, that usually lasts a while. I'm gonna say to shake it before use. I always forget to, but maybe that's why. Maybe it would plump more if I just listened. Okay, next, I'm actually really excited about these two items. I got these, they got a little bit crushed. Uh, so Sephora collection has finally come out with more products, including eyelashes. So Sephora has really expanded their overall makeup collection. It's gone like crazy now. There's like everything you could imagine and they have these um these beautiful lashes and so i got two they have a whole bunch of other ones in different colors so this is the demure shade and this is the dramatic shade and these look really long like they're definitely gonna have to be trimmed but i just think these are so pretty my normal favorite lashes are true fiction you get them at the drugstore or online i have a code i'll put it below they're like my favorite i'm wearing them today actually in the sh in the style chickadee from their newest collection um but i thought that these would be maybe a good affordable option to try as well because i'm personally really really just sick of ardell i feel like i was wearing those like five six years ago they haven't really reinvented their styles they're not really changing at all they're always in the same section of the drugstore and like they're not really modernizing like they're not really getting with the times they're not really doing like the wispy looks that a lot of girls are wanting right now they're kind of like more one-dimensional and very like spiky and for the price as well I just don't think that you get the best lashes considering there's like 10 or 11 dollars now each these are 13. um the ones that i get from the other brand are i think like 12. still pretty cheap 
But yeah, I thought that I would try these out and see in the world of affordable lashes what are best. Hey guys, that was everything for the haul today. I was like, is that everything? That is everything for this haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you've tried any of these products, please let me know. If you want to try any of them, if you love them, if you hate them, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It does help my channel for the algorithm. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe down below. I would love to see more of you and have you back here on my channel. All right, have a great evening. Thank you.